Hi, I'm Faye Roman, your Lunt Solar Systems customer service representative. I wanted to talk today about blue glass replacement. Now, if you've been using your scope for a while and notice a change in the detail, maybe you don't have any anymore. The sun might look like a red ball with no detail at all. Maybe time to check out your blue glass on your blocking filter. Now, we're going to call this BG from the rest of the video. To check your blue glass, or BG, you'll take off the two inch eyepiece tube from your blocking filter, which will give you access to the cell where the BG lives. Now we have one here that's turned opaque. Sometimes these problems can look like fungus or something of that sort. The good thing is, is it's an easy fix and we're happy to help with the replacement. To access the BG, you'll need a spanner wrench if you have it. If not, you can certainly use a thin pair of needle nose pliers that you might have in your home. And what you wanna do, if you see the retaining ring here has several holes, you'll want to engage those holes to unthread that retaining ring. So now you've used your spanner or your needle nose plier to remove your retaining ring. Simply place that to the side for now. You'll be able to drop out the bad piece of BG. Again, this one you can see has turned opaque and will no longer display any detail for you. So now you want to replace the BG with the new crystal clear piece you would have received from Lent in the mail. Now there's a little shelf here and just put that in place. You know it's sitting in there. Put your retaining ring back in. You want to tighten this back down all the way. Once you get it tightened all the way, we recommend actually backing off about a half turn, even a quarter turn really. The idea there is to give the filter enough room for expansion because it does heat up quite a bit. So if it's tightened down a little too much, it's actually gonna crack under the pressure. So you do need to allow it to have a little bit of space. Now once you have that back in place, simply put your two inch tube back on and you're ready to view.